In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create gift cards on Shopify that you can issue to customers or even sell in your online store. Shopify gift cards are electronic gift cards that can be created and used as a form of payment in your Shopify store. The gift cards can be sold in your online store just like any other product, or you can issue a gift card to customers as a form of reward or incentive. When a customer purchases a gift card from your Shopify store, they'll receive an email that contains a unique gift card code that can be redeemed on the products in your store. In this video, we'll go over how to create a new gift card product, how to issue gift cards to customers, how to use the gift card code during the checkout process, how to add a new gift card product to a collection in your online store, and much more. The gift card feature is available on all Shopify subscription plans, but if you haven't joined Shopify yet, Make sure you unlock your free trial by clicking the link in the video description. No credit card is required to unlock your free trial, and if you like it, which I bet you will, you can get 3 months of Shopify for only a dollar per month on select plans. If you're an entrepreneur or just running a side hustle, Shopify is definitely the most popular and one of the best platforms you could use to build your online business. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. Once you log in, you should be taken to your Shopify dashboard. Here's where you can view your analytics, update your online store, manage your products, and much more. On Shopify, gift cards are actually a special type of product. So to create a new gift card, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the products tab. Once you click the products tab, you should see other subcategories appear underneath. One of these new tabs should say gift cards. Let's click that now. Here's where you can create digital gift cards on Shopify that can be sold as a product or sent directly to customers. When you first get to the gift cards page, you'll have two options to select from. If you wanted to add a gift card to your store as a product so customers can buy it, you can click the add gift card product button. If you wanted to send a gift card code directly to a customer, you can click the issue gift card button. We'll be going over an example of both, but the first thing I want to do is add a new gift card product to my store. So to do this, let's click the add gift card product button. This will take you to a page where you can enter all the information and details to create your new gift card product. At the top of the page, you can create a title for your gift card. The title is the gift card name that will be displayed to customers when they visit your store. So make sure your title is clear and relevant. Underneath your title, you can add a description of your gift card. The description will also be displayed on the gift card landing page in your online store. For your description, you can also use the toolbar up top here to add various formatting options. This includes things like adding bold or italics to your text, or even adding a clickable link. To add a link, simply select the text you want to add your link to, then go up to the toolbar and click the link icon. This will open up a new window where you can paste in the link that you want to send your customers to. Underneath your link URL, you can also add a link title for accessibility and SEO purposes. And I don't want the customer leaving my landing page, so I always select to open new links in a new window. So once you're finished, go ahead and click on insert link. And the link has been added to my gift card description. If you really want to get fancy and add an image to your description, you can do that by clicking the image icon in the toolbar. From the insert image window, go down to the bottom and click on upload file. You can then find and open up the image you want to use in your description. Once your image has been added, simply select it, then go down to the bottom right and click on insert image. And my image has been added to my description. Feel free to update and edit your description as much as you like and include some good keywords and keyword phrases for SEO. Once you finish editing your description, you can then move down to the media section. Here's where you can upload images, videos, or even 3D models to show on your product page. This will be the main image that customers see, so I'm just going to upload a mock-up of a Quantum Designs gift card. To create my product image, I use the tools and graphics available on Canva. If you're looking for an easy way to create product images, banners, logos, product designs, or anything else for your brand or online store, make sure you click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. With Canva Pro, you can access thousands of professional design templates that you can easily customize, unlock the entire Canva library of images and graphics, the background remover tool, and tons of other tools and features to help you build and grow your brand.
To unlock your free trial of Canva Pro, make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So now that I have an image to use for my gift card product image, let's click the add files button in the center here. You can then browse your device and open up the image you want to use. There we go. Feel free to upload even more images if you like, but for my gift card product, I'm just going to use this one. So if we scroll down underneath the media section, we can set our gift card denominations. These are the monetary values that you want to make your gift card available in. Setting your denominations will depend on several factors, including the average price of the products in your store. If you have fairly low priced items, maybe you want to set your denominations in intervals of 5. But if you sell higher priced items, maybe you want to use denominations of 10 or more. But for my demo store, I'm just going to go with denominations of 5. Currently, I have gift card denominations set from 5 to 20, but if you wanted to add even more, simply click the add denominations button at the bottom here. And keep in mind that your denominations don't have to be in even intervals. You can actually set each of them for whatever price you like. If you wanted to delete one of your denominations, simply click the trash can icon on the right hand side to remove it. Once you finish setting your denominations, you can continue scrolling down and edit your search engine listing preview. This allows you to edit how your gift card product will appear to customers in search engine results such as Google. If you click the edit tab at the top right, you'll be able to edit the page title and the meta description. For your page title, you can have up to 70 characters and for your meta description, you can have up to 320. By default, it will already have the information that you entered earlier, but for your search engine listing, you want to take your time and see if you can make your text more clickable. This is the text that customers will see while browsing search engines, so try to make your text attention grabbing, clear, and easy to understand. Underneath your meta description, you can also edit your URL handle. For this, I typically like to remove unneeded words just to shorten it up. So once you finish editing your search engine listing preview, go ahead and scroll back up and let's check out the product status section. If you click the drop down menu here, you can select to have your gift card product active or set as a draft. When set as active, it'll be available on all the sales channels and apps that you select. The sales channels and apps section is directly under the product status section. Go ahead and select all of the sales channels and apps that you want to add your gift card to. For my gift card, I'm just going to select to add it to my online store. So the next section we want to edit here is our product organization. Here's where you can add optional information about your gift card, such as the product type, the vendor, tags, and even add your gift card to one of your collections in your online store. Your product category should already be selected as gift cards, but let's go ahead and fill out the other information. For product type, I'm just going to type in gift card. For vendor, I'm going to select my demo brand, which is Quantum Designs. And if you click the collections box, you'll be able to see all of the collections that you've created for your online store. As an example, let's add my gift card to my home and living collection. And underneath the collections box, you can also add tags for your gift card. These are basically short keywords or keyword phrases related to the product. So we've created our title and description, added our gift card image to the media section, selected our denominations, edited our search engine listing preview, made our product status active, and filled in our product organization information. Let's go all the way down to the bottom and click on save gift card product. And my new Quantum Designs e-gift card has been created. If we look beside the heading up top here, we can see a status that says active. So to see how the landing page for my gift card looks in my online store, let's go up top here and click on view. And here's the landing page in my Quantum Designs demo store for the new gift card that I just created. On the landing page, we can see my product image, the title, the description, and also other products that are available in my online store. And if we click on the denominations drop down menu here, we should see all the denominations that I set for my gift card. And if you remember, I also added my gift card to my home and living collection in my online store. So let's go to my collections, go to home and living, and my gift card should be available for purchase just like any other product. I think this looks pretty good, so let's head back over to our Shopify dashboard and see what else we can do. From the gift card editing page, 
You can also go to the share tab up top here to get a link to the product listing page or share your new gift card product on several social media platforms. And beside the share tab, you also have the more actions drop down menu. Here you can get a code to embed the gift card product on your website or create a checkout link that you can share. So now let's go back to the manage products menu. From the main menu, we can now view and manage the gift card I just created. Any other gift cards you add to your store will be available here as well. So that's the process to create a new gift card product and add it to your online store. Now let's go over how to issue a gift card to a customer. First, let's start by going back to the gift cards tab from the menu on the left hand side. When you issue a gift card to a customer, they'll receive a gift card code that they can use for purchases in your online store. So from the gift cards menu, let's click on the issue gift card button to go through the process. This will open up a page where you can add your gift card details such as the value, the expiration date, and the customers you want to send the gift card to. In the first box here, you have the gift card code, which is the code the customer will use during checkout to make a purchase. Next, you can set your initial value, which is the dollar amount you want to set for your gift card. And at the bottom, you can select an expiration date, but make sure you check with your country's laws before doing so. For my gift card, I'm just going to leave it set on no expiration date. And on the right hand side, we have the find or create customer section. If you click the search box here, you can search for the customer that you want to send the gift card to or create a new customer if you wish. For this example, I'm just going to select to send it to myself. And if you wanted to write a private note that you can view at a later date, but won't be viewable by the customer, you can write that here. So once you finish entering all the gift card details, go down to the bottom right and click on activate and send. And voila, the gift card has been successfully activated and issued to the customer. And since I'm the customer, let's head over to my email and see what we got. So this is what the email will look like when the customer receives your gift card. They'll be able to see the gift card amount and that the gift card is active. When they click on view gift card, a new window will pop up showing them the gift card code. This is the code that the customer can redeem in your online store when making a purchase. So let's go over an example of how to redeem the gift card code. First, let's start by copying the code to our clipboard. The customer can then head over to your online store and select the product they wish to purchase. Once the customer finishes adding products to their cart, they can then head over to the checkout page. Here's where the customer can enter their contact information, their shipping address, and if you look on the right hand side, you'll also see a text field for the gift card code. Here's where the customer can paste in the gift card code they received in their email. Once they paste in the code, then click the apply button. You'll notice that the gift card amount will be applied to the purchase total. And they can then continue the checkout process with their discounted price. From the gift cards menu in your Shopify dashboard, you can actually monitor the status of the gift card and its use. You can view the current balance, the expiration date, the customer it was issued to, and even a timeline of the gift card status. This is an excellent tool to see how your gift cards are being used. And if you wanted to deactivate a gift card, simply go to the details page here, go all the way down to the bottom, and click on disable. You can then confirm that you want to disable the gift card, and once you confirm, the gift card will no longer be usable. So that's a quick overview of how to create a new gift card product for your online store, and how to issue gift cards to customers. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.